The Lizzie McGuire sequel is probably the best news of 2019 if you're a diehard fan like me. The new show will feature Lizzie turning 30 and living life in New York City with her dream job and dream boyfriend. But how did we get here? As we wait patiently for the all new Lizzie McGuire show, here are 11 things you probably didn't know about the original series. These 11 facts about the original show might shock you. First of all, Hilary Duff almost wasn't our Lizzie. Sarah Paxson was being seriously considered for the role before it went to Hillary, and Lindsay Lohan was also apparently in the mix at some point. Sarah actually ended up making an appearance in the election episode, and she went on to be Aquamarine, so she's still pretty iconic. Hillary told E! News in 2006 that she totally bombed her first audition for the show. She had just been replaced on the network sitcom Daddy-O and was actually thinking about quitting acting. Apparently, it was Hillary's wild audition outfits that actually helped convince producers to call her back. They obviously could tell she would be up for the job of being a fashion icon. <laughs> Lizzie, those pants are sweet. And I'd like to thank my mom and dad. And the Style Shack. The show was originally going to be titled What's Lizzie Thinking, which you can actually see on the slate in the first episode's blooper reel. A only marker. Very quiet, we're rolling. Okay, brace yourselves because our beloved Lizzie cartoon almost didn't exist. Producers originally were just going to have Lizzie share her thoughts via voiceover. <sighs> this really, really hurts. Producer Stan Rogow explained in a 2002 interview that, quote, the network asked for a higher concept. I said we could visualize the voiceover with pop-up videos where words come up, or we could do an animated character. They said, let's do the animated character. Then when we went into production, we amped up the approach. I mean, thank goodness they amped it up because the show seriously wouldn't have been the same. Lizzie's BFF Miranda, played by Lelaine, almost had her own spinoff. If you remember, Miranda was actually missing from the final few episodes of the series. Miranda was on vacation with her family, aka Lelaine was busy working on the spinoff What's Stevie Thinking? The show was going to be about Miranda, her sister Stevie, and her family as they worked in a zoo in Australia. Oh, and by the way, Stevie was going to be played by none other than Selena Gomez. That's right, Selena's Disney debut almost came long before Wizards of Waverly Place. Obviously, the show never made it to TV, but we can imagine it would have been incredible. Remember the super iconic episode where Lizzie and Miranda decide it's time to get bras? I want a bra, okay? A bra! A bra! We want a bra! I want a bra! A bra! Yeah, well, that important television moment almost didn't happen. According to producer Stan Rogow, Disney Channel executives initially shut down the writer's pitch. He said executives were like, quote, oh my god, you can't do that. Between a rock and a bra place was totally groundbreaking at the time. Remember everyone's first crush, Ethan Kraft? Oh my gosh, here, here he comes. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? Lizzie, 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 my day is proceeding with fineness. <laughs> Well, Ethan was actually not originally going to be the lovable airhead he was. They originally envisioned his character as a bully jock type. I mean, let's face it, Kate had the bullying covered. What's your email, Lizzie? Lizzie at biggiantloser.com. <laughs> and you'll never eat lunch in this school again. You can take the girl out of seventh grade, but you can't take seventh grade out of the girl. Like, who still hangs around with <laughs> Sevies? <laughs> nice working with you. Not. <laughs> In the Lizzie McGuire movie, Hilary Duff obviously plays both Lizzie and Isabella. But what you might not know is that she didn't sing both of their voices. Her big sister Haley filled in and lent her vocals to Isabella, which makes total sense. Just because Lizzie and Isabella look alike doesn't mean they sound the same, you know? Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? I could almost kiss the stars for shining so bright. This next one is a huge bummer. They were in talks to do a second series way back when. Apparently, the second Lizzie series would have been an ABC primetime show about Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo's high school years. So we could have had Lizzie guiding us through high school too. Unfortunately, they were unable to reach an agreement and the idea was shut down in early negotiations. But hey, we're getting our second series after all with the Disney Plus sequel, so it all worked out for the best. All right, you guys, that's all the Lizzie McGuire info I have to share with you for now. Let me know in the comments below if you know any fun facts that we missed and if you guys are excited for the new series. Also, don't forget to subscribe because we'll keep you up to date with all the new Lizzie news. When you're done with all that, be sure to click right over here for another new video. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring, and I'll see you guys next time.